How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is my Huawei Nexus 6P and today's video we're going to one, unlock the bootloader, two, install Torp Custom Recovery and three, root the device. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. Hopefully this will be informative and let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is on your device you can see I've got all my applications installed. Everything's set up like I like it. And what kind of stinks is when you unlock the bootloader, it wipes your device. So back up anything that you might want to save and make sure you have it backed up, pictures, videos, anything you're going to need, back it up first. First thing you do, copy to your computer, whatever you got to do. All right. Besides that, I'm just going to show you what I'm on, 6.1.0.1 yeah, right there. And here's my build number. And then tap on your build number. And so it says, no need, you are already a developer. And you'll see developer options right here. So if I can click into those. In here, you want to turn on OEM unlock. And then you want to turn on ADB debugging. Make sure both those are checked, as you can see they are right there. All right, as long as you've got those things all checked, you're ready to hook this thing to your computer. So let's go to my computer, and let's show you some files you're going to need to download to make sure that you can get this device fully unlocked and rooted. All right, guys, so here we are on the computer, and this is my site, rootjunkiesdl.com, right? Pretty awesome. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make sure that you either have the Android SDK installed, and I've got mine right here, Android SDK. In um, Platform Tools, you have your ADB and your Fastboot files are all in here. This is the folder you're going to be working out of. If you don't have uh, Android SDK installed, you can come right here, and you can download this right here. This is your ADB and Fastboot files and you can extract that to a folder um, and it's just the ADB and fastboot files you're going to need to do this so you don't need to install the whole SDK if you don't want to this is the easiest way to go so that's what I would do is download that unless you have the SDK already installed so besides that you're going to need to get um, Torp recovery so we're going for the Nexus 6P this is the Torp official site so just type in Nexus 6P and there it is and then you're going to go down here to primary recommended. This is your download page. Then you're going to pick the latest. And it's very important that you pick the latest because um, the latest, I think this one and this one, will allow you to work with recovery even though your device is encrypted. Um, if you get an older version, then it won't work with an encrypted device. And there's a whole other process to deal with the encrypted device, which is a pain. So this one should work. So you just click on it. And then you click right here, download image. And it'll download it. All right. So besides that, you want to come over here. Again, you'll get links to all this in the video description. No worries. Um, you'll see everything. And you want to download this. This is a new way that Chainfire is rooting your device without messing up your system image or your system partition. It's basically patching your boot image to give you root. And it does it automatically through the zip, which is really awesome. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to come down here and download the latest beta SuperSue version and this will help you to root marshmallow so it's very important right there's the link for it you just click on it and you come over here this is chain fires site you hit download and boom you got those two files all right so we've got our files we have our android sdk or our adb and fastboot files so let's go ahead and open up platform tools and uh, easiest thing to do is actually just copy over the two files you just downloaded I'm going to copy them right into that into that folder so that you're working out of this folder. So in this folder, hold shift, right click, open command window here, and that opens a command window in the folder that you're working out of, which should be your ADB fastboot folder or for me platform tools if you have the SDK installed. All right, so from here we're going to hook up our device. Oh, one more quick quite one more quick thing. If you don't have the ADB fastboot files, um, or drivers I should say you can come in here Android driver drivers go to Google and you can download these drivers right here I'll try to update these I don't know if these are the latest but I'll try to update them and you'll get the latest uh, Google drivers that you want to install that file as well just in case you need the drivers all right all right finally we've covered it all that's all your prerequisites so from here let's go ahead and plug in our device so plug mine in this is going to wipe data effect reset your device, so be prepared for that. So there you go, I'm plugged in. 
And you may get a pop-up on your device, you should, saying allow ADB debugging. So if you get that, make sure you go ahead and allow that on the device. So, okay. To make sure our drivers are installed, we have our window open. We're gonna type some commands on here, and the first one is ADB devices, and hit enter. And it starts ADB shell, or ADB exe, and then comes back with a number, which is your serial number, and says device. That means your drivers are functioning correctly. That means the computer is seeing your device in ADB. If it says unauthorized, look on your phone because you might be getting that pop-up. And you have to make sure you approve that. If it, if it does say unauthorized and you don't get the pop-up, go back into developer options on your device and toggle, um, toggle ADB debugging on and off right there a couple times until you get that pop-up to come up. All right. So I'm going to leave my phone crooked just how my cable reaches. But you'll see this as we go. So now we're going to boot into fast boot mode. So to do that, we're going to go to fast boot, reboot, boot, loader. And it says waiting for device. Oh, ha, it should be eh. Let's close that out. I typed the wrong command. Open a command window here. Bring that back down. Try it again. ADB reboot boot loader. So yeah, things happen. You make mistakes. So now the device is going to boot into bootloader mode. This is bootloader mode right here. There's some information down here about if your device is unlocked, yada, yada, yada. The other thing I want to point out to you is you're going to get a warning on your device once you unlock the bootloader. On every boot, there's going to be this warning, and you can't get rid of it. Um, talking about checking for encryption, and you'll see it. But you just be aware that once you've unlocked the bootloader, that boot uh, logo is always going to be there when you boot up. All right, so we're going to go with fast boot devices. And again, here's a number and it says fast boot. Now, the thing with this now is that just made sure that your fast boot drivers are installed and functioning correctly. Because if they're not, you need to give them time to install here. Um, you can also see for me, I can open up this. See, so it tells you bootloader interface drivers are installed. So. Now we're going to do the command, and this command has changed from previous Android versions. It used to be fastboot OEM unlock. Well, now it's fastboot flashing unlock. Let's try that one. Hit enter. There we go. So now you have this warning on your screen, and basically I think it says press volume up and down buttons to select um yes or no then press power to select that option so i'm going to hit uh, power to hit yes unlock and it said unlocking right there in the corner and the screen went black and you can see the script or the command window says it's it's unlocked so from here we're actually done unlocking we're going to reboot the device and um kind of finish up that process and then we'll flash uh twerp and get root access so Fast boot reboot. Hit enter. And that'll reboot the device out of bootloader mode. And here is that warning right here. Your device software can't be checked for corruption. Please relock the bootloader. You don't have to. There's your unlock bootloader right there, a little lock on the device. And here is where it's erasing all of your data. Everything on the phone is g -g 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 gone. All right, so I'm going to let this thing boot up, and then we'll finish this process for twerp. So here we go. Device is fully reset, and you can see all my applications are gone. It's just back to stock uh, Android. But what we need to do here is we need to go back into settings, go back down, and you can see developer settings is gone again. So we got to go back in here, tap on the build number a bunch of times. There we go. That should turn on developer settings. There they are. And I'm in them. And then OEM unlocking still turned on. And then debugging, we need to turn it on again. And I think you're going to get a pop-up right here. Let's see if it does it. Which is the pop-up you should have saw earlier. Well, maybe not. We'll, uh, we'll run some more commands over here on the device. Now we got to turn back on. Let's see if we get a pop-up, though. So we'll go back to the computer. So here we are on the computer. Let's go ahead and run ADB devices. Hit enter. And it looks like nothing is attached according to this. So let's unplug the cable. Sometimes this is what it takes. Plug it back in. 
And there you go. That's the pop-up you should have got at the beginning too. Always allow and hit OK. All right, now we can hit ADB devices. And there's our device again, and we're good. So now we're gonna flash Torp Recovery, and then we're gonna get root. So to do this, we gotta do ADB reboot bootloader again. And this will get us into bootloader mode. And then we're gonna type in uh, fast boot devices just to make sure we're communicating in fast boot. Again, there's your serial number and fast boot, so we're good. Fast boot flash recovery space, and then just drag the torp image into the command window. So like that, and boom. And then hit, uh, make sure that you're in the box there, and then hit enter. And that went ahead and flashed the recovery perfectly. So from here, we're going to actually boot recovery. So to do that, come over here and go volume down and see where it says recovery mode. Then hit power, and that should boot us into Torp Recovery. Again, there's the warning. You're going to get it every time your device powers up, so we get used to it. But this should get us into Torp Recovery. And then the last thing I'm going to do is we're going to push our file over to the device since I didn't put it on the device yet. Whoa, cool. I have not seen that boot animation for twerp. What? This is a new UI on this thing. All right, so swipe to allow modification. So this, this is some interesting stuff on here. So we're going to go ahead and swipe to allow. Okay, and then here is the UI. So from here, we should be able to do ADB commands still, and we're going to push over this file. So let me show you how we're going to do that. So back on the computer, we'll type ADB devices, and it says the serial number and says recovery, which is fine. So we're going to do ADB push, um, right there, ADB push space, and then we're going to just find the zip, and we're going to pull it into that window. There we go. And then we're going to hit space slash SD card, SD cards all one word, slash. Um, I'll even put it in, no, that's actually good enough. That'll put, that should put it there. So hit uh, enter, and we should be good. So at this point, you should be able to unplug your cable. And I'll turn around so you guys can see this. And we're going to go to install. And there it is. See it? We pushed it to SD card right there at the bottom. Go ahead and click on it and swipe across and this is going to go ahead and patch the uh, boot image and do all the root stuff it needs to do without messing with the system partition which is really awesome right there you can see it's doing it i'm liking this new ui in twerp i've not seen it and it's pretty cool and this little thing going across the bottom i mean it's it's pretty neat all right so lastly i would recommend wiping cache and devic swipe across for that and then reboot system now and then this is really important right here. Right here it says, do you want to install Super uh, Super SU now? This will root your device. Well, your device is already rooted, but Twerp doesn't think it is. So you're just going to hit do not install, and you're done. So now this thing is going to boot up, and we're actually done on our computer, so that can be closed. We'll go ahead and let it boot. First boot's going to take a little while because we wiped cache and Delvic, so be patient for that to happen. And then we'll just make sure we have root access here on the Nexus 6P. Well, I got to say that boot up was actually still very fast, even with wiping cache. So we're going to go in here and we're going to scroll down. And there it is, Super SU. And shabam, hit no thanks. And you're done. Now, as long as it lets you do no thanks and you see this screen, it doesn't give you some kind of error about updating the binaries, you have root access. So we have official root at this point which is awesome. And you can download Root Checker and check it if you'd like, um, but it does have root access. So that's it. That is how to get root access on the Nexus 6P by Huawei. Unlock the bootloader, install Torp Recovery. So you're good from here. If you want to flash a custom ROM or do whatever kind of hacks you want to do, maybe install Exposed, it should be very, very simple because you have that custom recovery on there. If you want to get into custom recovery easily, I'll show you how to do that really, really quick here. You can uh, power off and we'll be able to boot right back into Torp Recovery. So hold volume down, power, and this should boot you into bootloader mode. Right there it did. 
scroll down twice, hit recovery mode, and again, we'll boot right up into Twerp Recovery, and now you can flash whatever you want. So from now on, anytime you want to get into Twerp Recovery, this is your method. Easily, even if your device is bricked and not booting up correctly, you should be able to get into bootloader mode and then right into Twerp, which is just awesome. And I got to say, I love the new look. Always excited to see new graphics for sure. So there you go. Simple and easy. I'll go ahead and reboot system. And again, do not install. And you're good to go. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more videos here on the Nexus 6P. I know I've been lagging on these a little bit, but I'm starting to ramp up for them. So stay tuned for those. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.